Good morning, we are back. Day two of our distillery tours. We are heading to Taconic Distillery. Yep. In, where is it? It's like. South. It's south of Albany. Was it, Albany. Was it like Stanfordville? 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 Yeah. So it's a good ride for us. We probably will be driving for a couple of hours, at least hour an hour and a half. Um, so yeah, we're on. We just got on the road. We're heading down there. We're gonna check out Taconic. snow just south of us we're like what two hours south of where we are of our home yeah yep. and there's no snow here and we In have two -tenths three of or four left inches of snow at the end of but the we're road. supposed to get more snow Onto tomorrow Bowden road it's a conic distillery good your way yep you're good you should get a picture your destination is ahead on the right there. Look at that house up there. Yeah. There's some big houses. Look at them all up yeah. there, up on the hill. You have it's arrived pretty. at your destination. The route guidance is now finished. Thank you so much. The route guidance has ended. Distillery. Here we are. Pulling in to the Red Barn at Taconic Distillery. We're here at Taconic Distillery. I think the barrels are cool back there. We're heading in right now. Oh, it's pretty out here. I'm just gonna take a picture out here. Hi! How many, how many actual expressions do you have? So we got the 90 proof bourbon, 90 proof rye, the 115 bourbon, 115 rye, um, then we got our double barrel maple bourbon at 115 and 90 proof. And then we do a cabernet finish, which that's all we have left. We just release that twice a year. Uh, Madeira and the oh, Cognac. Wow. And then we just did the Mizanar that's over there, and that's all we got left of that. Year. Okay, so we're cooking a weeded bourbon and we're just selling the malt. Okay. Once you get up there, too. Yeah. Don't drop your hat down in there. <laughs> it takes us all day to cook in air. We'll pump it over into our fermenter. That when we get it cooled down, pitch our yeast. We'll stay in here for three to four days. That's on the day of the week. We run Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Since it's a Friday, we ran next Tuesday, so we get four day ferment. Our mom was in here right now. Just open up that lid and get up there. That's cool.
These are gorgeous. Distillation, your second distillation. So what is this that I'm trying? Uh, so it's just the vapor that's coming off the oh. still. So it's, okay. this is our strip around it. That's some high octane. Yeah, it's about 130 degrees. And then here's the wreck coming off our pot. This will be our finished product before we cook it down and then go into the barrel. So it's about yeah. 155 degrees. The barrel is what gives you the color. Right? Yeah, that just yeah. Makes you yeah. Every liquor that you ever drink all comes out clear. So any coloring is either artificial or from a barrel. You hope it's from yeah. a barrel. Yeah. <laughs> Having that one extra run allows us to clean it up a little more, mm -hmm. make some of those harsh chemicals. So that, that tube is really full, it's just overflowing. Yeah, right? so really, I mean, if I wanted to, it's just. Okay, I guess so it's just it's trying to fill up more space than what you actually see, right? That's awesome. So we'll come out of there, we produce about four barrels a day, uh, pump it into our proofing tank back there, proof it down to 125, put it in our barrel. So for this, we move on let it sit for at least two years before. Uh, depends on your age. So your first year you use ten percent, and year after year you use six percent. Uh, yeah. It's a Vendome pound, so they make all of the pounds. You got it down in production. Uh, this is actually their smallest pound. It's a Vendome. Really? Yeah, yeah I think they're up on the price of six months. I am. Seriously? Wow. We did a thousand pounds. We can so sign any ones we here, want. <laughs> and then we got 800 down in the lower section. Wow. I'm going to do this one right here that nobody's done. <laughs> here, I'll do it right here. So is this all different stuff or the same uh, yeah, or so what's... So we only have two main recipes. It's yep. our bourbon recipe and our rye recipe. So it's a mix of bourbon and rye. Okay. How do you tell what's what? Are they marked? Or yes, are they... we got the numbers on the barrel. So we have a oh, system okay. that we keep track of it. Gotcha. We're only open on Saturdays. Yep. Um, so on Saturdays, if we get enough people coming through, mm -hmm. and we're not too slammed in the tasting room. Yep. With the, Staff and bring, them bring them out and check the check out some stuff. Cool. Yeah, so it's mainly just this area that we show them. So yeah, you know, like the still area. And yep. Back and here, here. And that's how we get all these signatures on these. Yep. Awesome. So this is the tasting room, and obviously we are here after hours. They are open on Saturdays for tastings and to tour the actual distillery that we just checked out. But we are gonna take a, another little walk outside in just a minute. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the tasting room and the little bar area. So that's their silos. Oh, so this is the new... Yeah, this will hold 2,200 barrels in here. Wow. So it'll take us a year and a half to fill up this left side, and then a year and a half to finish the right side. Wow. So right down the middle yeah. of the yeah. only space that you'll have left is for that door. So what's that all about? You just have uh, Mizanara staves in there? Yeah, so the head and the staves are Mizanara. Wow, it's just... So it's the same surface area of the wood? Right. It's just... Uh, Uses less overall. Oh, okay, so it's so, so stainless, stainless like charred all so stainless all the way through. That that liquid's only touching stainless. It's touching mezzanara here. Yeah. Okay. And, and it's got wood stays to go with. 
Oh, inside. Uh, yeah. Oh. So it's the same surface area of like the inside of the barrel. Oh, I I, I'm, yeah. I thought you were... Okay, I get what you're saying now. What did you just try? This is the double... Okay. It's the 115 double barrel maple. Double barrel, barrel maple. Oh, that's the maple yeah. one? How's that try. one? Yeah, I want to try that one. Steve. Yeah, you do. Yeah, we got a couple extra out there. If you don't want one. Yeah, really that would be awesome. So when you pour the cocktail, oh you just God. get this one. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. wow, yeah, that That's would be. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. So this is the, the Mizanara cask, which the, this was the one that was out in the yeah, with, so the, the new building. The new building yeah, the in the barrels, steel barrels. With the wood heads. Yep. I'm getting a little. I get a little maple out of there, but maybe because it's already, yeah, it's probably still in there. Yeah, it's definitely not yeah. maple. <laughs> You're supposed to be uh, cleaning your palate with no, some water. I'm just drinking. <laughs> For your higher proof is Woody. easy to drink. Right? Mm-hmm. It's not. Um, there's some that are higher proof that really hurt, and yeah. this is not at all. Yeah. yeah, we get that a lot from a lot of people. Even our rise, everybody's always surprised that it's not overly spicy. This is different. Yeah, um, I think it's where we're a little bit older on our rise. Like, um, yeah, this is one of my favorites. Hmm. Is that a good so, one? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing bad. So we just left Taconic Distillery. What do you think? It's really fun meeting uh, Brendan and the owner Paul. Um, good people. Great facility. Like really big they're they're making a lot of product and yeah. it's all theirs no sourcing everything's theirs everything tastes amazing yeah. we got to sample quite a few things sample their double their rye, maple the, their mizanara yeah. their their rye like their yeah uh what else the cognac finish the cognac finish we got to sign a bourbon we barrel did, which you would have seen in the video um, I don't know. We got to see their new, to, their new uh, their new barrel facility uh, yep. that you guys are going to see. And their 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 roll off trailers that smell absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really cool. We we had a, another nice like personal tour of Taconic. Which sorry if we're bumping around here, but we're we're driving home. We've got like a two hour an hour and a half ride home. So. But yeah, we had a really yeah. good time. Our glasses yeah. are shaking in the back. Clearly, <laughs> we have stuff in the back. We so. got some goodies that we got to take home with us. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so stay thank tuned. you to Keep Conic. Look out for those guys, they're they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be really one of the bigger competitors, I think, out there. They're really good. Yeah, for sure. So thank you to Conic for having us out and uh, showing us your distillery. What's up everybody? Hope you guys enjoyed our tour of the Taconic Distillery. So I think what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to whip up an old fashioned, kind of inspired by our tour down there with Brendan and Paul. Okay, so we're going to start off by taking our raw ginger and we're going to put that at the bottom of our mixing glass. A half a part of simple syrup. We're pour that in there like such. Our infused spirit ginger. About there. Then we're gonna muddle it with the raw ginger that we have down there. Now we're gonna add our ice. So now this ice is not gonna go in the, in the cocktail. This is just going to get our cocktail cold. Let's give this a fresh bottle pop. You ready? Let's get some sound. So we have this. We are going to give it two and a half parts, so two and a half ounces. One, two, and then a half. So now we're going to grab our Coven cocktail stirring spoon and we're going to mix it in our Mafato glass uh, mixing glass. Alright, now let's make this old fashioned smoky. And get this oak stave nice and red, red hot.
We got smoke coming out of there. Drain our old fashioned. The ginger. Let it sit in there and kind of float. And then we will garnish with two armorina cherries. The proper old fashioned. So thank you to Konek for having us out and not uh, showing us your distillery. Uh, yeah. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Subscribe to our channel. And turn on that little notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video because we'll be posting 